Hello guys, welcome to Newsy. Top Gun is back and so too is its leading man Tom Cruise with Top Gun Maverick. Cruise, who is no stranger to stunts, arrived by a helicopter onto the retired Midway aircraft carrier in San Diego, California, Wednesday. Top Gun Maverick was originally scheduled for release in July 2019. but was initially delayed because of production issues then its release was pushed back numerous times because of the global pandemic speaking at the premiere crew said i am seeing faces again this is humanity back you know and it's an honor to be here for me to be here to see you all mm-hmm. This is the first time I've yeah you know I've been on a movie set mm-hmm. for years in lockdown and shooting it so and we're not you know I'm seeing faces again this mm-hmm. is this is humanity back you know and it's it's an honor to be here for me The sequel returns 36 years after the iconic first film which saw Cruise propelled to superstardom Although rumored to be having a sequel for decades Cruise only agreed to sign on when he was happy with all elements i wanted to let the audience know you're in safe hands so but it's also how do you measure how much is too much we're not going to do a cover of the first one it has to have its own story and yet you want to be able to you know i think about it on a shelf if you pull off top gun uh, you know the dvd or whatever on your tv and then you pull up maverick it has they have to be chapters so and not something that is that is visually you know and and story wise the same character and same kind of world but modern doing the second was incredibly daunting to make no mistake about it but it was it was also artistically very fascinating to do because you're you're constantly going measuring how and what what's going to work and and what's working and it's it was it was really interesting it was not it was challenging and i like the challenge in the film maverick is forced into teaching a new generation of fighter pilots including bradley rooster broadshaw miles teller the son of his best friend Bruce who died in the original film No, Tom was very hands on. I mean, even scenes that Tom wasn't filming in, he was he was he was there. And there were very little scenes Tom wasn't <laughs> filming, but he was he was just uh always always on set and he was always there to be able to help us out and and uh yeah, I mean, he devoted so much of him of himself to this and we all we all um you know, were the beneficiaries of that. Sorry. His teaching efforts are like his name, Maverick. And Cruise director finds himself often under scrutiny from the academy's boss, Cyclone John Hem. Yeah, you know there's really only one Tom Cruise and uh you're very aware when you're in his presence and uh you're very aware when you're working on something with him and he has uh decidedly has a pursuit of excellence in everything that he does and that's very easy to get swept up in and and inspired by and enthusiastic by. Glen Powell plays Hangman, the crookie member of the class. Tom Cruise put together a flight school, uh, so we learned from Maverick himself on how to fly, and uh, we flew in four different t- types of airplanes, all with different functions to get our G tolerance up and to understand the maneuvers. And so when we were in the F-18 and finally filming, uh, we all looked like fighter pilots. Although reviews are embargoed, early reaction to Top Gun Maverick have been very positive as it is finally after so many delays coming into land at cinemas. It's made to be a big screen big screen movie experience. Uh everything we did was thinking about the biggest screen possible, the best sound possible. So, it was hard to hold it, but we knew that it was designed for the big screen and now that people are going back or if people have been hesitant to come back, This is a movie to to see. Top Gun Maverick goes on release worldwide from May 25.